children or my grandchildren got yet come up through this world. And Lord, let the right person be in the right place at the right time. They don't we want Hallelujah. Help me, Holy Ghost. They don't even want you to with, with, uh, punish your own children anymore. But yet still the policeman will beat them to death, shoot them down dead in the street, but you can't even discipline them at home. Mine's sitting right here. I told him if I go, you go. To jail, that is. <laughs> you can call him if you want to. <laughs> Yes. With the devil. Yes. Put him under your feet. Don't put him under your feet, but kick him out. That's right. Put him out. Oh, Elder Todd, I didn't see you standing up. <laughs> <laughs> but we have, you know, we accept anything now. We accept, in the church, we, we, we want the preacher to do all the saving. The poor man and woman preached until they blew in the face. Go home and they can't sleep because we won't do right. Put on a prayer meeting, mothers, the mother go and come. Yes. I've been in this church all my life. Not culture, but Saved by I don't understand how that we can say we, y'all help me please. Listen, I, I, I'm past 70 so y'all can't do nothing to me. <laughs> <laughs> you say you love your pastor. You love Mother McGrew. But this morning I sat there and I cried, literally. The doors of the church was open for the women and we decided to do other things. And I began to say, Lord, what's wrong with our church? What's wrong? See, when you start getting older, you really take things so seriously. Right. Because we have more hours back there than what we have according to the scripture up mm -hmm. here. So it's left up to us now to be bold and tell you what thus said the Lord. That's and then right. I got to live it if I tell you how right. to live it. So That's right. if the doors of the church and Bishop have allowed it, it's South Central, you may not ever say anything as nice about me again. Go ahead, mother. But I, I just want us to see how serious it is about our souls and our worship with the Lord. It is so serious. Nothing else should come before. This week, everything should have been shut down. Bishop, you're going to come take my license. But it, it, it burned. See, when, and I know if I felt like that, mother felt like that. Because she said, well, she perhaps, no, no, she didn't talk to me about this. The Spirit of the Lord spoke to me and said that she was burdened because of the attendance this morning. And, and I know, now look, I would pick up somebody, but I don't drive that well outside of the, the, the borders of the Camp County. <laughs> but I would help somebody get to church if you didn't have transportation. But I want you to know how serious it is that we come and we fellowship and we worship together. And That's if you right. don't have the money, you don't That's have the right. we don't come anyhow. But yes. you come, you make your leader's life a little bit lighter, and the people and you would be more blessed if you would just do that. Be obedient yes. to the, to the, yes. to the organizing, organization of the church. You know, and, and I'm just trying to help the preachers out tonight because I'm talking to the ladies. I'm like y'all over there. I'm talking to the ladies. But see, Hannah in our lesson tonight needed something from the Lord. And she knew that if she could get to the preacher. But now, now, now see the preacher ladies. If she felt like if she could just get to him, she'll be all right. But now, apparently, he was asleep in the spirit. Because when he saw her coming, he thought she was drunk. <laughs> he judged her from afar off. 
Mm. And then she, when she got a little closer to him, she said, no, Lord, uh, count not your handmaiden to be a daughter of Baal. Mm -hmm. I'm not drunk. I haven't had anything to drink. Mm -hmm. But my heart. My heart is broken. That's the way I feel now. My heart is broken for the churches. All over. And I've been praying to God. I know you've been praying to God. And so those of you who are here tonight, you know that you're in the, in the inner circle because you're obedient and you're here. But for those who are not here, take the word back, but take it back right. Yeah. See, Hannah, Hannah knew that she, she, her whole nation was going to the dogs, so to speak. So she, she wasn't just praying for Hannah. She asked the Lord, if you give me a male child, I'll give him back to you all oh, the yes. days of his life. And there was no razor come on his head. Mm -hmm. Now we cut them and we shave them and we do all kinds of stuff now when they first born. You, that could be another song. Could be another Samuel. We don't know. But she asked God for that. And so when Eli finally found out and finally woke up and came to the realization that this girl is not drunk, he blessed her. He gave her his blessings. And the Lord granted her her wish. And she had the baby child. And she named him. You know his story. South Central Georgia, pray and ask God to give you something special. You, individual, ask him for something special out of this meeting this week. Holy women. Oh, yes. Holy and sanctified women. You can't talk it from here. You got to live it from here. So that when trouble do come, you have something to stand on. We was talking in a workshop today about thin skin. The little mother from New York was talking about, you know, so many saints today got thin skin. And I thought about incubator babies. You know, when they're first born, they have to be put in the incubator and, and, and stay in a warm environment for so long. Some of us need to go back to the altar. That's our incubator right there. Right there. So when Hannah finally got her blessings, she praised God. She praised God. And history tells the rest of the story. South Central Georgia, as I get ready to take my seat, You're doing good. I want you to go from here tonight and this week with a praying spirit like you have never had before. Oh, yes. Don't wait for the pastor to call a prayer meeting. You call your own prayer meeting. Yes, you house, yes. You got a room that you can call your yes. own prayer meeting. Go into your closet, close the door, and then tell God about your situation and somebody else's. You see, because if we don't learn to do that, God is going to weave some dull threads in our life. Just like Hannah had, you know. So, and, and then when that happens, we're not going to want to deal with it. We don't want the preacher to preach the devil out of us. But if you have power, because they told me when I got the Holy Ghost in the scripture, say, you will have power after that. The Holy Ghost going to come on you. So you have power already. So South Central Georgia, let's band together. Let's, let's, let's not let the devil come up in South Central Georgia. And the devil cannot have our children. We got to pray for our children. How many here tonight got children that's not safe? Yes. If you want your child to be safe, well, you got to do like Hannah. You got to go to God like never before. And you got to claim your child back to God. You got to stay before God and say, For God, I live and for God, I die. Oh, yeah. you save my child. Go ahead. You save my church and our children somewhere in the streets that they just joined. That's right. It, oh, John, it didn't, didn't feel like going tonight. Huh? I didn't have a choice in the matter. Rain That's right. shines, no sleep. Sleep snow. I had to go to church. Yes. We didn't have no car. We didn't even have a bus line. We walked two and three miles to church one way. We didn't miss a service. Sunday school, morning worship, three o'clock service, four o'clock worship board practice, six o'clock YP, seven o'clock night service. I'm still here today. Yes. 
I'm still yes, getting paid. Yes, we are. <laughs> and I got my right mind. Yes. Oh, Johnny had too much homework to get. He, he, he or she couldn't come out of church. The devil is a lie. Yes, he is. He oh, is yes. Alive. Pray my strength in the Lord. Oh, yes. I've given to you what the, the Lord has given to me. And I hope, Mother, that I didn't make you ashamed. You did. I hope that you don't think me. Oh, right. yes, Lord. We got to go on the walk with. Our churches need to be refilled with our children. My heart is broken when I don't see our children who we and we instill so much good stuff into. And then when they get grown, they go somewhere else and help build up somebody else's ministry. I don't that, that breaks my heart. Amen. That my breaks soul. my heart. And we should yes. you know, before, the, before the benediction, here we go. Mm -hmm. Oh, yes. The preacher sit there and wait until everybody leaves. But we got in such a hurry. We got to go to yes. work in the morning. We don't know. You might not even live to see tomorrow. That's right. So all of us, we're going together. We're going to band together. And we're going to claim our children back to God. Yes. Every mother in here that have an unsaved child, niece, a nephew, a cousin, we ask you to just come to the altar. Come to the 